Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another video update. Uh, this one's a little special. I want to talk really specifically about one issue in particular, um, and that's a special or business improvement district. This was recently created by ordinance by the Board of Trustees uh, here in South Orange, and I want to explain a little bit about what it is, um, how it's going to be organized, and some of the problems that this organization is going to be trying to solve. Um, to start, special improvement districts or business improvement districts uh, are basically downtown management corporations, they're 501c3s, that operate by assessing a fee to businesses within a particular district in your downtown or commercial corridor, then using that money, again managed by the uh, business, primarily by business and property owners in that downtown area, that fee is then taken into that budget of the downtown management corporation, and that money is reinvested back into that business community. The money can be used for things like marketing and advertising, branding, having concerts and activities, um, doing physical improvements, sidewalks, streetscapes, cleaning, security, um, and things of that nature. So there's really a lot that it can do. Um, and the idea is that the money will be used and will be managed by the people who are going to be benefiting from it. Um, obviously, there are a lot of things that I think we do really well here in Village Hall, but there are a lot of things that are best left up to people like business owners and property owners and residents. They really know what they want to do for, for their businesses and their business community, and we uh, would like to empower them to be able to do that. And this improvement district will help. Um, what, what, one of the criticisms, of course, is that it assesses a fee to the uh, business and property owners within the district. Um, you know, this is really a, a, a kind of a tragedy of the commons situation, where right now there are a number of businesses who spend a lot of time and money contributing um, to great benefit to the downtown, and there are some business and property owners that don't do so. Um, and what this does is make everybody be involved. So no longer can someone not invest in the downtown and have that slack be picked up by another business owner who's really, really proactive. Now everybody's got to be a part of it and everybody's going to benefit from it. Um, special improvement districts uh, were, were allowed were by statute um, to be created in 1984. Um, and since then, uh, about 84 improvement districts um, actually exist right now in New Jersey. Um, even just some of our neighboring towns, Maplewood, uh, Milburn, uh, Summit, Livingston, Westfield, Montclair, um, those are just some that, uh, that, that have an improvement district. In fact, Maplewood has two. Um, and you'll also see them all over places like Manhattan, like in Times Square or other areas. And the, the objective is very similar, where you're supposed to take, take a small area of your downtown um, and empower the business owners and property owners within that district to reinvest into the future of their downtown. Another really exciting part of this is that uh, improvement districts are actually eligible for state grants that uh, chambers of commerce and main streets aren't even eligible for. So just by creating and implementing this improvement district, we now open ourselves up to more opportunities to bring money into our downtown to help further revitalize and further reinvest in what we want to do. Um, obviously, like any organization, uh, you know there are downsides. Nothing's perfect. Um, an organization like this could be encumbered by politics or bureaucracy. Um, but one of, the, one of the reasons why this is a separate 501c3 organization is to try and remove it from some of the bureaucracy of municipal government in New Jersey. Um, that there's going to be a separate organization that's made up of, uh, of mostly business owners and property owners and some residents and, uh, and a handful of village officials. And they're going to be the ones that are going to basically be in charge of their own destiny um, and managing that money, deciding what the budget is, decide how much money they raise by fee. Um, and, uh, and all of those different operations that the Improvement District will be partaking in. Um, and one of the other potential downsides, like any organization like this, is if people aren't invested in it and if there aren't volunteers that are willing to take up the cause and really help out. So we're really encouraging. That's really the reason why uh, um, I wanted to make sure to do this video, not only to educate people a little bit about what an Improvement District is, but also to make sure to tell people that the success of this Improvement District and, of course, the success of our downtown uh, really depends on people stepping up to the plate, um, getting involved, and, uh, and volunteering their time. Um, we've got a number of applications in already for spots on the Improvement District. If you're interested in it at all, please drop me an email at atorpy at southorange.org. You can also go to the website at southorange.org, and on the left-hand side, click the volunteering link, and that'll take you to a volunteer form where you can fill that out, and your application will be submitted to serve on the Improvement District. There's a really, uh, really a lot of exciting things that this that th there's potential for here. Um, you know, it's been uh, studied for over a year. We've brought experts in from around the state and other improvement districts and chambers and main streets to 
talk about how best to do this and uh, thinking about not necessarily even just where we are and where we've come from, but where we can be and what tools are going to help us get there. So hopefully this video has been uh, informative. And again, if you're interested in getting involved to help out or volunteer, please get in touch with me or submit your application today. Thanks, everyone.